the, oh, through the centuries, there have been many godly men who have studied the Word, who have given their comments, uh, and uh, the, I'd like to read those. I don't necessarily always agree with them, but uh, J. Vernon McGee, uh, great comments. Now, he does not, uh, I would disagree on a couple of things with J. Vernon McGee, but uh, there's there been some good people. I would I would check out, that, would see what they thought on it. Matthew Henry was really good. J. Vernon McGee died you know, 10, 15 years ago. Uh, Peter Ruckman, if you can, if you don't mind your steak being flopped on the table, he has some really great insight, you know, on some of this stuff. He's a brilliant man. That might be a good place to start. He's got commentaries on, I think, the whole Bible, too. I think he's still alive. Last I heard, 90-something years old, 95, maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, he's still alive. He, he did give an announcement, a huge announcement for anybody that followed his ministry. He, he did his last sermon about a few months ago. I think it was at the same time you were having your trial, actually, uh, in your in March. He, he gave an announcement that he... He's given his last sermon, so that was kind of the end of an era. era. And um, uh, he's, he's influenced quite a few people with his uh, books and tapes and everything else. So, like you said, he is kind of rough and gruff and slaps the T-bone steak on the table. But he, he, did, he did put out a lot of good stuff. I, um, but I'll leave it at that. Um, any, uh, there was a... Uh, yep. he, has, he has a Bible college there. Uh, that uh, they have three or four hundred students. I went and spoke there once, so one evening I had a great time. I hired probably 15 or 20 of his students to work in our ministry, and because we were so flexible, just whenever you can come, come. If you don't, if you, you know, our Dinosaur Adventure Land, our type ministry is just open for extremely flexible schedule, you know, and this is exactly what college students need. Sometimes they have to do work for exams or something like that and they I don't think there was a single exception everyone we had was just a fabulous worker and I would hire a hundred of them if I could they were they were uh, that, that's a great testimony to the school that they were just really uh, uh, hard-working people so I enjoyed that 